Hello, I'm Athena, and today I'm going to be making the Foradora cocktail. Um, I'm actually learning about this musical, and I'm taking a musical theater class over summer, and one of my extra credit assignments is to make this drink, so I figured why not just turn it into a YouTube video. So hello, Professor Jackson, if you're, you're, you're going to watch this, I hope. <laughs> a couple of disclaimers. I am 19, so I won't be using alcohol, so it's not non-alcoholic. And I don't drink either, so I don't even have alcohol in this house. This is kind of supposed to be a tutorial, but I don't really, you know, read the directions or do the tutorials right, so don't listen to this if you actually want to know how to make this. Um, I'm gonna be a scientist today and we're gonna do some experiments, kind of. I don't make drinks, I just drink lemonade, so also, if you want to see a good tutorial, there's a video made by Steve the bartender. Um, I'll put that in the description as well. I watched that video just to make sure I had all the ingredients, which I do. So, so first, um, I'm going to show you all the shot glasses that I have to be pouring in the liquids. And <laughs> I have friends that are bartenders, so I hope they're really not watching this. Here are my three shot glasses. I actually didn't even know that we had like shot glasses in the house. So thank you, mom. Shout out to my mom. Okay, the first step of the recipe is to add the gin. Um, we're gonna skip that, <laughs> uh, obviously. Actual first step that we're gonna do is um, is add the raspberry. Okay, I poured it, but I actually don't know how much. Um, so this is where the science comes in. Um, we'll just make some hypothesis. Hypotheses? It's been a minute since science. <laughs> theater. He said like two ounces or something and I have no idea how much that is. I mean I could find out but I like guessing games. Next up is the lime juice. I'm excited for this one. I really like lime. I just poured the lime juice in. I had no idea there's like this little whole thing. It smells really good in here. Just Trust me. Next step is um, ginger ale. Well, the guy made like some ginger thing and then he added some soda stuff, fizz. So just put it together, ginger ale. Not so fun fact. I put the um, ginger ale in the, in the fridge and my dad drank it. <laughs> Good thing I had one more. We only had two left. Oh, I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> I'm not, but Imagine, I was gonna drink one like for lunch. Good thing I didn't. Again, I'm not sure how much, but I'll just drink this. I'll put more in, don't worry. Maybe we'll add some stuff, we'll see. Okay, I got the two cups. Why do you have to shake it? Any bartenders? Let me know, I think that's enough. I'm gonna get some ice. Got it. Yeah, that's not enough. I think I'm gonna add some lime juice. Okay, I added a little bit more of everything and I think it looks much better. Too bad the ice cubes are all going to the top. Okay, I think that's it. Actually, the guy added some raspberries. I don't have that, so I'm gonna add some strawberries. I'm adding one, <laughs> one strawberry. I also put my reusable straw. So let me do a little squish. Let me try it. Oh, that's really good. Oh, do you want some? Come on. Here, I put in another straw if you want to try it. Oh, we shouldn't because Corona. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's it for this video. Go subscribe to Steve the... the Okay, that's it. Um, okay, that's it for this video. <laughs> uh, go subscribe to Steve the Bartender. He's really good. I don't really make videos like this, but I, I did for class. So thank you so much for watching. Shout out again to Professor Jackson. Subscribe. More videos coming soon, though.